Hi, this is Sean McConville. I am doing my third video blog following my uh, recent attendance at the Stone Narrative Lab that took place in Vermont, June 5th to June 8th, over four very intensive uh, evenings for me, but daytime um, in Vermont. Um, so it took place virtually this year, which is a real shame, uh, but it was still fantastic to be uh, a part of the lab. Uh, I was an Irish Film London Fellowship Award winner, so for me it was uh, an even better and more rewarding experience. I don't have anything negative to say about the lab. I found it really challenging and really enjoyable and very beneficial to myself uh, and the, uh, more in particular the, the, my screenplay, The Last Moon, uh, which my attitude was to really you know, challenge the script and get the best out of the lab, which is primarily focused on story development. However, it's not just story development. Uh, they, they, there are lectures on pitching and presentation and marketing and producing and so on. So it's, it's coming at the at story from, from all angles, uh, both business and creative. Uh, there are several fellowship uh, awards for the lab, which I'll read some of them out uh, for those that uh, I want to apply. I highly recommend applying to the lab if you can afford it. Great, but there are fellowships. Uh, so there's the Irish Film London uh, Fellowship, of course, which I was in inaugural winner of. So next year, someone can apply for that. There is Maven Screen Media Fellowship, uh, Screen Skills Ireland Fellowship, the University of Vermont Fellowship, the International Screenwriters Association Fellowship, Irish Film London Fellowship, Page International Screenwriting Awards Fellowship, a SAG Indie Fellowship, and a Final Draft Fellowship. And there are others as well. So you can go to their website and, and find out which uh, fellowships there are and which ones are relevant for you to apply to. Again, I really highly recommend it. It's really beneficial to put your project through that process, get it to another level, um, but also to make connections both with other writers and filmmakers that you can collaborate with but also all the mentors uh, all most mostly uh, they're, they're very successful producers but there are agents and managers and uh, casting directors and so on all, all facets of the industry and you know you you obviously will be in their networking group um, and if appropriate you can reach out to them uh, with your projects um, so there's, you know, I guess the, the main thing for me was that it was intense and exhausting because of the time difference, kind of uh, 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. in the morning for me. And um, there weren't any breaks because you have a working lunch. Um, this makes it very, very intense and efficient in a really good way. But again, uh, I think it's more to do with Zoom than, than the the structure of the lab, but, uh, uh, you know, really, really uh, tiring in that respect. Um, as I said, running around film markets, I'm used to that, and film festivals, you would think would be more tiring and exhausting, but actually uh, having all these meetings on Zoom, back-to-back -back meetings, four days in a row for six to eight hours a day is, uh, is really tiring. Um, but outside of that, it was an amazing experience. I'm very grateful to Irish Film London for uh, being awarded the fellowship. Um, the Stone Narrative Lab, <clears throat> David Rocchio and David Pope, the organizers, were amazing. Their lectures were fantastic. The way they hosted the lab was great, very, very uh, relaxed and pleasant. And I highly recommend everyone look into the Stone Narrative Labs, look at who the fellowship um, um, awarders are and if relevant you know apply for a fellowship uh, but even if you don't get a fellowship you know and you can afford it put in yourself and your story your script through the, the narrative lab over, over these four very intense days is really really beneficial and I highly recommend it again a big thank you to Jerry Maguire and all the team at Irish Film London I really enjoyed it and I'm very grateful um, to have had that experience. So thank you.